What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Ms. Maggie T. with Atlanta Hawks News. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope your life is COVID-free and well. And I just hope you enjoyed your family time and everything else. But let's get into this appreciation of those Hawks. Um, my twin sister, Shell, made a comment in Atlanta Hawks Die Hard Fanatics. It's, it is a Facebook group on um that you can join if you guys want to of course answer all the three questions so you won't get denied but that's a group of just collective diehard hawks fans there but she made a post there she stated fans have to realize that the hawks weren't even expected to be where they were we proved so many people wrong we started the season off 14 20 fired the head coach made it to the semifinals with our interim coach no we didn't make it to the nba finals but guess what we have playoff experience we just have to add a few pieces and we will be there until later hawks and i absolutely agree on that one we definitely overcame some obstacles we had injuries to start at the beginning of course we changed up coaching um and honestly it took it to the close to the post game for us to even begin to have a collection of a whole team playing together so really these young players actually didn't even um play all season together they really had to figure out come post game and that's the worst time you want to get a, a young crew together to figure things out when this is their very first time even in the postseason you know what i'm saying so um with that being said we have a young squad everybody a squad that's going to take us for many, many years, you know, bits and pieces here and there, somewhere. We will be contending in the East one these days. And, you know, look at that. Trey Young is 22. Kevin Herter is 22. John Collins is 23. Cam Reddish is 21. DeAndre Hunter, 23. And Young Yanka Kongwu. 20 years old so these are very very young players that can develop into something that we just don't know what is to expect later on they're getting better they're getting stronger and they their chemistry is evident in all their faces the coach nate mcmillan they love him and we're going to get into a little bit of that later but just just everything about this team i feel great about going into the next season but let's go ahead and get started into some news and updates though um it does look like Bogdan Bogdanovic says he is um, if Serbia qualifies for, um, for the Olympics today he would love to play if the doctors will clear him said he's meeting with doctors soon to figure out what the plan is for his knee and they will let him go um and he just would love to play in the Olympics and I wish him all the best there as well as big man Cam Reddish he wants to play in the summer league and Reddish just confirmed that that is his plan. And I definitely know that this team seemed like they just have some type of spark right about now. Everybody just don't want to sit down and wait. They want to keep moving and keep getting healthy and fresh and, you know, be ready in time for the season. So, you know, give and take everybody remains healthy, stays um, conditioned and everything. We should be good to go for the next season, give and take who will be there. Not speaking of, John Collins, you know, he is going to be a future free agent. And um, he made a comment that he definitely is something he has to think about, something I voiced my opinion about a lot. I want to be here. Um, obviously, we're going to have to come to a decision very soon. Hopefully one that will keep me here, you know, and, you know, I know it's been a lot of mixed reviews about John Collins performance, especially in this post game season. We'll see what goes there. But um, Trey Young also made some comments about the season. Uh, we don't just want to get back to this spot. It's cool we made the playoffs and won some games. But we want to take the next step, um, play in the NBA Finals, and compete for championship. I think for me personally, my expectations are high every season. Coming into the next year, it's going to have the same mentality, just bettering the game. We all got to continue to have a high, you know, head held high, you know, expectations on oneself and our team every year. He also said, we have accomplished so much this year, but just the guys in the locker room, the young guys. We all understand that this is just the beginning. It's fun. We had the city excited. We want to keep it that way. And to the message to you guys from Trey Young, what a year. Thank you, Atlanta. Year three is over, but this is just the beginning. The future is Atlanta. I hope you get on board because it's here to stay. Love.
that's y'all leader, y'all. That is y'all leader. Y'all better listen. We need fans that's going to be there, do or die through the end of the time. Because guess what? They need all the support. We need the fan base. We need the energy. It needs to be electric in the city. We need the A to be on notice, everybody. As well as going into Clint Capella's comment. Next year, you know, expectations are going to be higher because we earn it. Now we're going to have to confirm what we did this year by being definitely one of the top teams in the East. They all transformed. I'm really happy I was a part of it to see it go from a losing team to a winning team over a year. This team really changed the mentality. It happened really, really fast, and that's not easy. um, Clint Pell on the, you know, transformation of the team. I agree. Um, Quick and fast, they had to kind of figure it out you know, uh, with the pick and rolls and things like that, they just had to move with the flow. And I think they did a hell of a job doing that. And as well as Solomon made some comments, we have to have some edge, someone out there clocking big minutes. That's got some edge and grit to them. Cam showed that last night. Definitely big man Cam showed his thing. Um, he also went on and said that it was tough. It's definitely different for a majority of the locker room. It was like a realization of taking a deep breath, and be thankful for the season. And this is what he had to include on walking away from the season after that tough ending. As well as Danny Lowe got Nollery. He said, um, I butchered that, y'all. I'm 32. These kind of seasons don't happen every year. When you have the chance to do something special, you have to use it. I thought we had a chance. If we didn't have a chance, I wouldn't be this mad right now. But I thought we had a chance and we didn't use it. And I, you know, I get it. He's competitive. We definitely had the opportunity and we didn't do what we had to do. But guess what? There's always next year, you know, and um, of course, going into, you know, the fate of Nate McMillan. Will he be our head coach next year? Solomon added, Nate's our coach. They're just waiting to get the final details and all that stuff. Unless Orlando Magic came in and gave him a hundred million a year or something crazy. Nate McMillan's going to be our coach. And then, of course, Nate followed it up with a team message. He said, I thank them. I thank them for committing. I thank them for sacrificing. I thank them for trusting and believing because none of this would have happened if we didn't do all the things that we did. You know, so with that, um, it's evident that this team really wants to be together, including Lou Will. You know, this is going to be his 17th NBA season and it looks like he is deciding to possibly play and it says um, from him blessing disguise ATL thank you I appreciate the warm welcome back my teammates and staff was nothing less than amazing to me love six man underground goat think I am coming back you know and we all know Williams will become an unrestricted free agent this summer as the three year um 24 million dollar contract he signed with the Clippers is set to expire you know the Hawks acquired him back in March from the Clippers where he had spent the previous three seasons um where they sent Ray John Rondo to Los Angeles in regard you know in swaps of these guards and um Several players have made their uh, appraisal for Williams for his role as he is an added veteran presence to a young core, making it his first postseason appearance. So with that being said, with everybody on the collection and healthy bits and pieces here and there, I think that we have a contending team for the near future. Y'all look forward to it. Be happy. Be, you know, don't don't bash them because, look, we made it this far when we people didn't even think we was going to be in they counted us out they counted us out every the entire series we was always the underdog underdogs all up in this series so and we tried to prove them wrong we defeated some odds we made it to the conference finals just one more step further so all we got to do is just get over that hump and we will do that but please Please, I'm opening it up to you guys now. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what do you think we need to be doing as far as moves, how you felt about the season overall. Give me some feedback about that. I definitely want to hear from you guys. Let's kumbaya and just praise our team, all right? 
So the next time is Maggie T with Atlanta Hawks news. Since you know the season is over, with, I'll get into some Hawks, I mean some Braves maybe, and of course some Falcons content on down the line. Atlanta United, I don't really watch. I'm not gonna lie about that. So I'm not gonna even pretend like. I pay attention to them, but you know, big ups to Atlanta and the United and everything else, you know, with their season, but, um, I'm out people. Peace.